you all i just found an exciting way to make my mix oh sound so much better using one plugin really but before we get into how the plugin works let's talk about how much of a difference this sound is this is before disabled that you finished with the first day of testing yo yeah, here's like enabled stuff, but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write summarize and disabled again next time that you finish with the first day of testing yo yeah, like enabled stuff, but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write summarize in the story okay did that make a big difference or what I know it did to you and now this isn't even talking about the volume because i've tried my best to try to match the volume the gain level so this plugin that i'm using is called the i am pusher or the infected mushroom pusher but this is a plugin that i discovered of course as a part of waves audio it doesn't matter which one you have i think it's included in all of the different packaging but it is included in this particular one i have the waves essential for a subscription now i am really really getting into the waves plugins really understanding what they're doing and how they can be used in cakewalk don't get me wrong i love cakewalk and i love the sound and i love all the plugins that come with cakewalk but there are some things that cakewalk can't even do and you already know you agree with me anyway Way. so i created this song day two of map because we're doing map testing at school right now as well as any other schools that are going on probably doing the same thing so it's kind of like a little theme song to get students encouraged for day two uh day one we did a few other different type of videos so etc this is what i came up with but let me talk about the i am pusher stereo now this comes in stereo mono now i use the preset called the vocal pusher but i actually did adjust this myself so let me talk about uh what we're doing here and let me save this too as well um as save and let's call this uh vocal pusher um just the norm okay i want to make sure i don't lose it in case i change things but let's talk about some of the features that it has right and i can also adjust multiple things on this this thing does everything you can think of basically so first of all we have the body knob the body knob is just going to add more like umph just more body just make it more warmer sounding all right and let's just start with the body first day of testing yo ela was tough but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write summarize in the story next time you that you finish with the first day of testing okay, nobody yo, ela was tough but you showed More body. us that you very subtle know how to read and write okay. summarize in the story next okay so from the body we have of course we have the input we can adjust the input and we can also adjust the output the output is at the bottom right now i have a set to negative 4.3 and that was because i was really trying to match what my gain level would normally be now i've already taken a gain level down because if i had this at zero this track would be all in the red so now ideally if you want to bypass all of that and not have it in the red like that go back and try to turn some things down i just didn't really do that last night so i was trying to hurry up and get it done quickly um i even probably could go back and do some more eqing on some of these things all right but anyway we have the input we have the output we have the magic button now the magic button basically enhances all of the aspects of the sound so all of the frequency range so pretty much all of these they kind of like it's like the glue it's almost like a compression basically like i think of a multi-band compression basically but you can also isolate these by what's called the focus all right so let's hear what that sounds like with just the magic time you that you finished with the first day of testing yo ela was tough but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write summarize in the story okay, focus Next down time you that you finished with the first day focus of all the way testing, up yo ela was tough but you showed us that you down. definitely know how to read and write summarize in the we story got the dynamic punch which is over here next time you that you finished with the first day of testing yo ela was tough but you, you can tell it just kind of added more bite and more punch in that high end high mid end all right so i can turn this magic up some or i can have it in out 
whichever, you know, you can bypass some of these if you don't really want to use them. Uh, but right now I have them in, right? So we have the magic tool. Then we have the highs and lows. So the highs are cool. Notice that you definitely know how to read and write, summarize. And okay. If you want to add more crispness at the top, uh, of course, you got to be careful with it. You want to add too much. You might have to tame some of the highs if you have to do, um, you know, if you got too many consonants. Like me personally, I have a lot of consonants uh, that I use in my vocals. I mean, of course, we say consonants, the letters, but I'm saying I'm, I'm always doing sibilants. So I'm always pronouncing words very clearly. And sometimes that can cause issues in the high end. So um, make sure that you put on like plugins to get rid of that. Um, you can use the VS64, which comes with Cakewalk. Uh, which will allow you to use a de-esser or you can if you got your own de -esser, or you can use a waves de -esser, either one It doesn't really matter. All right, so I have the lows Now the lows is really cool because not only does it add bottom, but it also adds uh, Harmonics basically, All right? So like harmonic saturation in the lower end Testing yo, ELA was tough, but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write Summarize no lows. in the story Next time you that you finish with the first day of testing yo okay, so you can actually tell a big difference in that and it's clean lows it's not like overbearing so you have these frequencies down here so d1 and it's based off of whatever key you're in so this particular song uh actually chords are in c minor but i'm actually basing it around f minor or a flat major okay so in that case i can say g sharp all right and then i can use it there LA was tough, but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write. Now, let me tell you, I played this thing in the car, like, you know, and I, just after a quick mix and a quick mastering just with this one plug in. Uh, of course, I, you know, I did. We'll get into doing like a loudness check so we can check the loves and check the true peak and all that good stuff. But we'll get there in a moment. So if you're wondering about that, like how you distribute this to whatever you're using, whether you're using lander's distribution or you're using uh distro kit or you're using band labs either one it doesn't really matter but i'm gonna walk you through that we're not gonna do the distribution but i just want to show you how you would go about from this step once you're mastering but i believe that you can get a decent sound with just this one plug in so stay with me all right let's keep going so we have the lows we got you know in and out you can take it out if you don't want lows on it at all all right, we got the magic. I showed you that the focus dynamic punch. We also have a stereo widener. Now this stereo widener is better because it's not gonna cause phasing issues. So phasing is like when waves are basically, waves are normally supposed to go, you know, in a certain direction. Then you have two waves that are going opposite directions from each other are there the reverse sometimes they can cancel each other out so this one actually only works i think it only works for the top end so it kind of makes it wider in the top range of everything so let's hear what the widener sounds like let's turn the lows down we'll turn the highs down we'll turn the magic down and we'll just focus on the stereo image. See if that makes a difference. The first day of testing, yo, ELA was tough, but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write, summarize in the story. Next time you that you finish uh, with the, the first highs day in. of testing, yo, ELA was tough, but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write, summarize in the story. Yeah, I definitely can tell that it got a lot wider. I don't know if you can hear it. This is before. Next time you that you finished with the first day of testing. After. Yo, ELA was tough, but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write, summarize before. in the story. It just opens everything up. So even it's very subtle, which is really cool, but you'll be able to really hear the big difference when you're listening on headphones. Um, you might not be able to hear it as well on your phone. I'm not sure, but uh, so let's talk about the push. The push is the limiter, the compression. So there's a clip part and then there's a limit part. So the limit is uh, just saying like brick wall, let's keep it here. And then clip is like if I don't want it to clip at a certain level um, from what I know. But I think I've kept it on limit. I have not switched back and forth between the modes. Uh, but this limiter is fire. Check this out. Day of testing. 
yo. ELA was tough, but you showed Damn. us that you definitely know how to read and write, summarize in the story. Next time you that you finish with the first day of testing, yo. E Look at those gain levels. Did you see those gain levels? Look at it again. ELA was tough, but you right showed here. us that you definitely know how to read okay. and write, summarize. Still, still not going in the red. I mean, it's still, I don't know how it sounds to you all, but I know it got a lot louder. And trust me, it gets even louder than this. I'll turn the output down some more. Let's talk about love. So love means loudness units full scale, basically. OK, and I think of it as a way to measure uh, the peak level or the gain level of your mix of or of your song. It might be a different meaning for some. I'm just keeping it very simple. So this is basically saying that whatever service I'm going to, whether it's Spotify or Apple Music or um Deezer or any of those other companies, whatever I'm streaming from, they have a certain level where they want to keep it at. Now, I can boost this sucker like really high, you know, and have it like negative six, negative seven, negative eight luffs, and it's going to be fat and loud and stuff. But what's going to happen is Spotify normally has it set to like maybe negative 14. Uh, you might want to stay at negative 14. might want to go a little bit before that. But if your mix is too low or if your song is too low, it's going to bring it up. And if your song is way too loud, it's going to bring it down. So that compression can ruin your mix or it can make it sound totally different. And you will hear a big difference between me, like even when I'm going from like Apple Music and listening to music, going to Spotify. Spotify just sounds so quieter and the dynamics just don't sound as good as apple music now i don't know if it's just because apple is keeping everything louder but it seems like they're about the same but it's just something different in the quality of everything not saying nothing wrong with spotify i love spotify but anyway so this mix let's play it and what we want to do is on here this is called the wlm plus stereo now it comes uh waves plugin comes i think three or four three different variations of this basically so I wish I can zoom in on this one, but let's trade this one out and let's move this one over here so you can see it better because you probably couldn't see it at all. So this one, hopefully you can see it well. All right. So now on here, you can see that there is a short term, a long term and a range. OK, so those are the those are some things that we're going to pay attention to. We are going to pay attention to a true peak and a true peak limiter. So now rule of thumb is that if I'm going for a target, of loves for Spotify, Apple Music, anything like that. I'm gonna to try to keep it around maybe negative 14. I got a negative 14.5 right now. Or you might even wanna do negative 15. So if you do negative 15, then that'll give you a little bit of headroom. But let's just take it down to negative 15. I'm gonna say negative 15 for now. All right, and then my true peak, okay? Let's talk about that. Normally, we want to keep that like negative one. All right. So we don't want it to hit true peak means exactly where it's going to hit. We don't want to hit zero because there's a chance if you hit zero, it's going to go over zero. And if it goes over zero, it's going to peak. It's not going to sound good. And also, they're going to squash that sucker down. So we're going to say negative one is our true peak. All right. And then we'll be able to see exactly what that true peak level is right here. We'll be able to see it. Uh, I mean, we'll be able to see the true peak right here. OK, and then we have the limiter here. So it has a set already right. Negative one. We can see it moved everything. And then it has our love set to negative 15. I'm going to do a larger section real quick. So I'm going to highlight um, and you kind of want to think about the loudest part of your song to really feed off of. But I would suggest playing the whole entire song. So let's just play this part right here. And then so I heard that you finished with the first day of testing. Yo, ELA was tough, but you showed us the short that you term. Know how to read I'm in negative write, 13. Summarize. So the short term is going to be what you see automatically. And then over the long term is how it is kind of in comparison across the whole entire play of the song. So, um, as in the story next time you take the test you won't have to worry i know you're ready for the next part time to do some math make sure to read all the rules before you start to grab if you get stuck just remember to oh, i heard that you finished with the first day okay so i can see my short term is negative 13 my long term is like right at negative 14 right now which is probably fine so now what i might want to do is bring it down some so how can i bring this down I might want to go to the I am pusher and I might want to just turn the gain down here some. 
All right. Or I might want to just go up to my gain level here. And that might adjust it. Let's play it now. So if I turn it all the way down, you don't hear nothing. Okay, so, so turn the gain up. I know you I can turn the gain up until I get where I wanted it. Make sure to read all the rules before you start to grab. If you get stuck, just remember the first So I brought it down to negative 11. Now, I know this is extreme. You're probably thinking, dude, like you're losing all of your output and stuff like that. I really don't have to lose the output like that. I mean, I can compensate for it. So you can go higher than 14. I mean, if you want to do like negative 10 or something like that. So maybe you want to go for that. Uh, I'm just going to keep it at negative 14. I like stuff to be consistent and I don't want anything being squashed. So I'm going to kind of put it at where I needed to be at. Now, there might be a different way to doing this than doing this way. I didn't have to turn the gain down here. I can also probably turn down the gain here or turn the output down here and do it that way um so but yeah you know this is this is really cool i can even bring i'll put up some up testing yo ela was tough but you showed us that you definitely know how to read and write summer all right so i'm playing around with it and it's just something that i'm gotta really play with you all i am not as experienced at mastering in cakewalk or any software for that matter now i've done a few masters myself but for the most part i always rely on you know someone else to do it mastering or i rely on ai to do it like landers mastering so this but this is still something that you should play around with now if you don't like the waves version of this you can definitely use the ulean um, version which works really good ulean loudness meter all right so this one might be a little easier for you. Before you it's free. Grab, if you get stuck, just remember to. Oh, I heard that you finished with the first day of testing. Yo, ELA was tough, but you showed us that you definitely know okay. how to read and write. So integrated in the story next time. So on here, integrated is basically uh, the overall period shows relative gated loudness average over the whole measurement. So basically the whole entire song so normally like i said you want to play the whole entire song through now this is the free version of it of course um the the, the they got various different ways you could do monos you could do stereo you could do surround sound on this so if you're not familiar with this definitely check this one out this is free i think i have a link well i don't have a link but i'll i'll try to put a link to this in the description as well as those waves plugins um i'm getting into waves and i'm starting to like it so i'm hoping that you all are liking it too as well I'll bring this over a little bit more so you can see it better. I'm sorry, you all. I'm trying to do this on the fly. But yeah, so 13.9 loves integrated. So I probably would go back. So if you get the pro version of this, there are presets. So like you can literally put on Spotify. You can literally put on Spotify and do the preset that way. So that's really cool. But the free version, you just kind of got to eye it out. Now, if you're a person that says, I don't even want to really use Waves plugins at all to do Mastered in Cakewalk, I understand. That's okay. It's, I'm, I'm not going to be mad at you at all. I have a video that's going to pop up here that talks about a song that I had to master where I use all stock plugins within Cakewalk. Now, that Ulean might have been used, so that might be the only one that's outside. But for the most part, it was all plugins that come with Cakewalk by Band Lab. And you definitely should check that video out next. Say, subscribe, like, love you all. Peace.